business arithmetic problem presented by eduxit.com in this video we are going to solve business arithmetic problem the following is the problem definition we have to calculate the working capital of abc xyz company which has the following items in the balance sheet stock 25000 rupees trade creditors 16000 rupees debtors 37500 rupees cash 50000 rupees dividend payable 25000 rupees tax 22000 rupees short term loan 30500 rupees short term investments 38000 rupees we have to calculate the gross and net working capital before we proceed let us segregate the assets and liabilities and tabulate them in the following table stock will fall under an asset so we have to tabulate it under the assets section trade creditors represent that the company owes an amount of 16000 rupees which is a liability that the company has to pay to either suppliers or vendors who has provided either raw materials or products or services to the company debtors falls under assets this is the amount the company has to receive from the external customers or clients so it falls under assets cash obviously it's an asset dividend payable is something that the company owes to the shareholders and other stakeholders so it is a liability on behalf of the company tax is something that the company owes to the government so it's a liability for the company short term loan is the amount that the company has borrowed from a financial institution or others so it's a liability on behalf of the company that it has to pay in the coming days so it falls under liabilities short term investments obviously it falls under assets because it's an investment and represents the asset of the company now let us total the assets 005051 amounting to 150500 rupees let us calculate the liabilities 00539 amounting to 93500 rupees now the gross working capital is the sum total of all the current assets of the business which is equivalent to 150500 rupees by the way for your information gross working capital is also known as current capital or circulating capital and the net working capital is the difference between current assets and current liabilities 150500 minus 93500 subtracting we will get 57000 rupees this is the net working capital of the company thanks for watching edixit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements to watch all our videos please subscribe to our channel Also please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published please click on the like button if you like this video thanks for watching